Hello there, internet. What would you do with $10 million cash? Taxes paid. I know people ask that question. Throw that off there in the comments. Dream a little, live a little. I really wanna know what your opinion is of $10 million cold hard cash. Can you think that big? Do you wanna become a millionaire in the next three to 10 years? Do you wanna build something, create something that you can leave your kids? I'm going to tell you how I did it, and I'm also gonna tell you my plans to make even more money. I think the first thing that we need to discuss is, what is a millionaire? Because there's a lot of little different definitions. First, there's what we call the paper millionaire. This is a person who has a million dollars worth of assets on paper. Mortgage, maybe your securities, maybe investments, life insurance, universal whole life, things like that. Because if you have a house that's worth $450,000, life insurance policies, $300,000, 405000 and some other investments and some other securities on paper you are a millionaire that it's doable the skin of their chinny chin chin and then they're like i'm a millionaire i think that's garbage paper millionaire is like a paper tiger your investments go south your house loses value then all of a sudden you slip out of that millionaire status the type of millionaire that i feel is the best millionaire is a liquid millionaire where you have liquid a million dollars or more of assets that within a week or two you can sell and have a million dollars cash i think that's the best position to be and that's what i'm going to talk about in this video but my first million took me about two and a half years to make most of that money was not mine and i was technically not a millionaire because that was a million dollars in sales and this is something that you should really understand when you have these folks here on the internet talking about hustler porn like yeah you know we did 3.5 million in sales that doesn't mean that you are a millionaire unless you have a, above and beyond or including your company a million dollars positive net worth assets you're not a millionaire you could sell 10 million dollars a year and still not be a millionaire and you have a lot of people out here playing around with those numbers so next time you see someone screenshot oh i'm making 2.8 million dollars a year on shopify amazon ask them what the net is the net profits because that's going to tell the tale having cash so i'm going to give you a situation you have a business that does three to five million a year each year it spins off potentially because we're going to talk about this later a million two in profit it could but since you are a smart business owner you're not taking that money out of the business you're using that money to grow the business to make it a more valuable asset thus limiting your exposure to tax liability and getting richer by just you're building the business and taking a small salary or in some cases you take no salary which is the best and then that's how you do that game we have many people out here per perpetrating that they're millionaires yet they live in cracker boxes it's very interesting how do you become a millionaire in three to ten years number one you must create something you must create something better or you must take something that exists and make it better. Now you can become a millionaire in three to 10 years. I'm not gonna say easy. I'm gonna say it's possible. I'm gonna say it's doable. I'm not gonna say it's easy because one of the things that you have to do is to remain consistent and that's very hard. With the creation of new stuff, of new things or making things better. Like take Uber. Uber's a taxi service that's just way better. You don't have to guesstimate when your taxi's coming or keep checking out the window. You just look at your app and oh, he's there. They turned something that existed and made it much, much better to the point that people who did not even take taxis started taking Uber. Definitely did a game-changing event there. Or you can make pizza. 
you can be in Kokomo, Indiana, and you can open up a pizza joint, and as long as you manage your margins correctly, you could grow that to a million dollar a year business, or even a multi-million dollar a year business. The pathway to becoming a millionaire is not difficult, but it demands something that is very, very hard for most people to do, and that is delayed gratification. You must put aside money and assets to build the asset while living less than what you can do. And as Americans, we're taught to live not to the top of our incomes, but above and beyond our incomes. And that type of behavior does not make it easy for you to become a millionaire. It makes it very hard. This is what I call the upper halves because you know there's no middle class there's some people the lower halves and the upper halves and the upper halves are people who make 100 200 300 thousand dollars a year and they get stuck because they make enough money to be comfortable but not enough money to be free so they're in this loop of paying bills buying nice stuff and taking vacations but they really can't buy their freedom whereas someone like me uh, i'll tell you I started GC Solutions with Nancy because I was selling some used office furniture. Now, this is a lesson for you guys. I did about $400,000 the first year with GC Solutions. Our breakdown, well, our agreement was I would sell office furniture and I would get 50% of the deal. So I sold 400,000, I made 200,000. Where we, when I tried to get fancy and classy, I started selling new office furniture, I made 1.2 million, but because of grew ups, mistakes, Hype, uh, like I had one job where the punch list was ridiculous. I made like 30, 40 grand. It's not what you sell in terms of gross. It's what you net. So GC Solutions, the first version, was a better situation than GC Solutions, the second version, because I was selling used product. And that's how I got into the storage auction business, because I looked at the paperwork. I looked at the stress I went through, and I was like, whoa, I need to find some used stuff. Boom. Storage auction city, here we are. My money that came in the storage auction situation was better, but we had one year where we did 960,000. Just like, ooh, so close, right? But our profit margins were 70 to 80%. I could spend 10 grand a month and generate 30, 40, 50, 60,000 dollars in some cases. In a few cases, I spent about 20, and we did 150 in a month because these were some really good units. They were banging, they were nicely laid. I learned something because I made far more money in the storage auction business than I did selling new office furniture. New office furniture that fed my ego, you know, suited and booted. I was going to fancy showrooms, it was nice. They had the elevated music playing. But when I was in that warehouse, that dirty, dusty warehouse, I was making bank. What brings me to the third situation of making millions of dollars. The goal for Mac Daddy Media is to turn it into a $20 million company within three years. Now, that means there's gonna be million dollar months because it has to be 20 million. I need to do 1.5, about 1.2 to 1.8 million per month. This year, we have did that, but I need to do it month after month after month. So knowing what happens in the business cycle, I'm gonna to have to actually do two and three million dollar months to make up for the slow months. And there will be slow months because for some people, and I don't know if this is gonna impact Mac Daddy Media, but January is a slow month for many businesses. It may not be. And I don't want to put that out there and put my quote limited belief on a situation when it could be a great month. We may not even have any down months, but I don't know yet. Uh, Mac Daddy Media was just incorporated Mac Daddy Media was organized March of 2017. So we have a lot of the potential here and with some new things I'm gonna do. Part of making money and becoming a millionaire is letting go of the notion that you're going to make a lot of money efficiently, automate it while you sit on your butt. That is one of the predominant misnomers there's channels well you don't have to work that hard uh, you know I make 25,000 working three hours a day so if you actually work the full eight hour day which ain't killing yourself you could probably make 50 60,000 so once again I understand living your life but if you want to become a millionaire in the next three to ten years 
the first two to five, you are not going to take home a lot of money because you're growing the asset. And that's the situation. I've not taken any money out of Mac Daddy Media. I don't even take a salary, but I have four sources of income, so I'm able to play that game. But if you want to become a millionaire from scratch, and let's say you do it in four years, this is what you need to do. You need to find a service that you can make better, or you need to create a product that serves a lot of people. That's it. You do not have to do anything super fancy. You can become a millionaire in the next three to 10 years by selling hamburgers, cheese, milk. It's about what can you find that you can scale? What can you find that's gonna build a business? What can you find or what's in you that's gonna serve a lot of people? Mac Daddy Media is a video training company. We do video marketing and we train people how to do video marketing. And I'll tell you how I got started. My best clients, my best examples of success, I can't show you their stuff. But if I build my own e-commerce site, I build my own agency, I can show you that. So that's one of the reasons that I'm doing this and this is the reason that I'm no longer in the house. I'm just out here, you know? One of the things that you have to understand, there's a lot of quote, hustler porn. And I'll be honest with you, Amazon FBA is a great way to become a millionaire but here's the wrinkle I was watching some videos and I saw this couple and I'm not even gonna tell you who who what it is because I don't want to feed into the hustler porn and the couple built this brand on Amazon and they sold it for millions of dollars and I was just like I did a little investigation and I watched it and this is what well, number one it wasn't one person doing this it was two people doing this it was a husband and wife so it was a team it wasn't one person it was two the other thing in this two-person team had an extremely lucrative job. And I remember his other partner, his wife, said that we took his bonuses to invest in the business. I estimate that this, you know, this, you know, because the thing is, and this is something that a lot of upper halves do, that they say, well, we're really not that special when, okay, Due to this job, if he had stayed in this job, he could have probably gotten to a million dollars in income from this job. Just to tell you how lucrative it is. Able to take 10, 20, 30 grand and throw it into the business, he still had the lucrative job to pay the everyday bills. And that's one of the reasons they grew so fast because if you are broke dick Danny and you only got a thousand dollars, it's gonna take you years to scale up, but you can do it. Now, if you're like this couple where you have access to 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 100, 80 grand that you could put into the business while still having a job and living, it is no wonder that they were able to grow so fast because you need money to grow. And for my Amazon people, because I know you watch, if you start your Amazon business with $5,000, you're gonna separate yourself from a lot of people. If you start your Amazon business with 25, you could possibly turn that into a million dollars your first year. Yes, that's how powerful it is to have operating capital that is above and beyond what you need to live. And what happens to so many people, and I want y'all to hear me, you are trying to build and live off of the same money and you're choking your business. So that's just some of my thoughts of how you can become a millionaire in the next three to 10 years. It's very doable, it's very possible. I, I dropped out of school my junior year. I came from very humble beginnings. And the thing is, it's about having tenacity and it's about having discipline and it's about having a goal. I put my goal out here. My goal in the next three years is to pay 2 million, 2.2 million for this outrageously expensive house and also to build this company to 20 million hefty stuff. But see, here's the thing. Let's say I completely fail. So instead of buying a $2.2 million house, I can buy a million dollar house. Instead of having a $20 million agency, I got an eight or $9 million agency. So even when I lose, I win. That's how you play that game. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this. And if you feel the need to learn how to hustle, and if you feel the need to learn how to build a business and you want to build generational wealth,
spank that subscribe button.